All right, so today is a little bit of a different vlog than usual. Is this thing on? I haven't vlogged in a while. I kind of forgot how this works. Uh, how do I do this? That's better. Oh! There's a lot of moving parts to this. I don't know how these people who've been doing it for a long time do it. Because I have got stuff everywhere. I just realized the sun shade thing was twisted. That's probably in the picture, sorry. What I'm trying to do is fish and vlog at the same time. There are so many moving parts. I don't, I don't know how this works. But to make it a little easier, I'm mainly just going to be wearing this thing. Because so far, that seems to kind of be the easiest approach. Like, that just seems to be the best thing. I'm going with it. I want the tripod, but I think I'm going to come back to that to do some B-roll stuff later. I think I'm going to fish for a little bit, then do B-roll. All right, I'm going to go from you to this. Let's roll. I'm going to start off with this square nose crankbait. Water's dark, so these offset colors should work pretty good. Hopefully the wind's not too bad. These GoPros suck at canceling wind. This place holds monsters. I've caught, I think, I didn't have a scale, so estimation, it's around six pounds. But I've caught a little dinks, but it's been cold here in Florida lately. It's been tough. Florida fish absolutely hate cold. Square nose here goes about, I think, three feet, three to five, maybe what it estimated. I haven't caught a fish on it yet, but I haven't used it very much. I usually do a lot of saltwater fishing and it's just saltwater here in Florida in my like where I'm at in my opinion sucks from fishing on shore like I am right now but with fresh water it sucks with salt it, horrible luck or you get little dinks so I decided to switch over to fresh and give this a try fishing Shimano a Shimano Sitica. It's a 201. It's a left handed. Paired that with a Bass Pro Shop Mega Cast. Seven foot. It's medium heavy, fast action. Not bad for a little starter. Usually this time of year, you'd hear people fish jigs or whatever, but I haven't had any luck here with jigs. Most of my luck has came from uh, crankbaits and stuff like that, real shallow, nothing that goes too deep. This place is beautiful. Technically, you're not supposed to fish here. There used to be signs out that says you can't fish. They're gone. And uh, actually, my old man spoke to a, a cop. And they said they don't care anymore if you fish here. I guess just they were having too many issues with people fishing here, so they just gave up. But you can catch some mean ones out here. But it's just gorgeous. It's huge. I mean, you can fish all along the banks here, and it wraps all the way around. It goes way out there. You see people out in kayaks fishing this all the time. All right, bite super slow. We'll go grab the drone, big camera, gimbal. Shoot a little montage scene. I don't know what you want to call it, whatever.
Then we're gonna give the old swim bait. There we go. This is what I caught the big one on. Dink. Let's give him a go. time to switch locations that is not working it's been like two hours and we haven't caught squat so it's time to move but I think there's a reason why we're not catching fish we're missing something there's something we're missing some OG's of the channel will know what we're missing And the success to every day is in this can right here. One can a day, successful day. Ah. Delicious. Boing a wap, boing a wap, boing a wap, boing a wap. In the jungle, the mighty jungle. All right, new spot all together. We totally gave up on that one. Texas or wacky? Oh. Come on. Well, there goes my fish. My little swimmy fish, my swim bait.